Conclusions. If you own a modern motorcycle which is of Euro 5 and above regulations where the engines tend to hit more to combat emissions, do not rely on the last temperature reading that you see on the dashboard when you park and you switch the engine off. I'm Dr. Vestrom. Let's talk about engine heat once more. Regarding engine heat, there's a video up here where I review the small engine heat issue of the Vistrom 800, so go and watch it. For Vistrom 800, for Vistrom 1050, and for all, this, this applies to all new motorcycles, all modern motorcycles. Taking as an example Vistrom 800, the radiator fan kicks in at around 104 degrees Celsius. It starts to, to function, to turn, so that it cools the engine down. Suzuki has thought that this temperature is not good for the engine uh, when you park your motorcycle. And so the radiator fan kicks in, it starts uh, working to cool the engine down. However, this only happens if the ignition is on. If the key is on the off position, the radiator fan will not work it will not kick in it will not start what i have noticed uh, at least for vistrom 800 on average when you turn the engine off um, and within one or two minutes the temperature will rise on average by five minimum till eight maximum degrees Celsius. That means that you are left with an engine at 103, 104 or 106 degrees Celsius, which is kind of overheated. And that means that the engine should be cooled down by the radiator fan, which will never kick in if you have the key on the off position because you parked your bike and you left. On the long run, like I said, it may create some issues because the excessive heat, especially if you park in a closed um, space, the excessive heat is going to dissipate uh, slowly, more slowly. It's going to damage on the long run, affect plastics, hoses, electronics and other components. What I'm going to do now is demonstrate two scenarios. One is where you park outside and the other one is going to be when you park within a closed space, which is worse. So currently my temperature is 89 degrees Celsius, 90. Let's turn it at 93 degrees Celsius and you will see how much it will rise. So normally what you would do now, you would turn the ignition to off, take the key, go away, and then the heat from the engine will be increasing because why? No air is passing through the radiator, so it's not being cooled down. And uh, like I said, the radiator fan will never kick in. So, a few seconds have passed, I will turn the ignition to on again and check again the temperature. 98, you see? From 93 it increased to 5 degrees, 6 now, 99, you see? That's what I'm talking about, this is what I, uh, I was talking about. So in this case, uh, that it is winter and the motorcycle is parked outside, um, even with 100 degrees on the dashboard, it seems to be fine. However, don't forget that this will change severely during the summertime or if you have pushed the engine. Okay. I will now park the motorcycle inside the closed garage, inside the closed space. And you will see that this is even worse. Eh? 
Okay, let's park the motorcycle with around 99 to 100 degrees. Engine off. Let's wait for 30 seconds or so. This is a closed space. So the engine heat will not be dissipated so well. 103 degrees. 104. See? There's the radiator fan. 105. It's increasing because the space is closed. So, definitely consider this and when you park your motorcycle in a closed space if it is around 99 degrees 100 don't take the key off and go wait one or two minutes check to see the temperature and if it is after one minute if it is close to 103 104 degrees do not turn the engine off this will protect your engine and all the components near the engine area you see it's the space is closed and the temperature is not dropping also very fast now you see and again like I said this is not only for Vistrom 800s it's for all motorcycles just remember that still 105 degrees you see even with the radiator fan working but only because it is a closed space if we were outside it would be better another thing i want to mention is that you see how long it takes for the radiator fan to drop the temperature to 100 degrees so that it stops this whole power is being drawn from the battery again this happens only because I am in a closed space right now. If it was outside, it would be better. However, that means that you need to charge your battery as well. Take care of your battery. To sum up, if it is winter time and you park your motorcycle outside, normally everything should be fine. Except if the final temperature on the dashboard of your motorcycle is 100 degrees Celsius and above. If it is below, everything is fine. If it is 100 degrees Celsius and you maybe you even pushed the engine, then my recommendation is for you to wait, turn the ignition to off, wait for one or two minutes, turn the ignition to on and check again. If the temperature has risen to 103, 104 degrees Celsius, or whatever threshold temperature your motorcycle has that the radiator fan kicks in allow the motorcycle to cool the engine down leave the ignition to on so that the radiator fan kicks in if, if it kicks in even without the ignition that's another story if it is winter time and it is a closed space a closed garage that you park the motorcycle you definitely need to wait one or two minutes because the closed space does not allow heat dissipation as well as the open space as you saw on the video uh, when i parked on the closed space the temperature was rising faster and when i switched the engine to off it took more time even for the radiator fan to drop the temperature now if it is summertime uh, it goes without saying that you need to check uh, even more because the temperatures are higher uh, and it's more difficult for the engine to cool down conclusions if you own a modern motorcycle which is of euro 5 and above regulations where the engines tend to heat more to combat emissions do not rely on the last temperature reading that you see on the dashboard when you park and you switch the engine off. Instead, give one or two minutes, depending on the situation, give one, one or two minutes, turn the ignition to on two minutes later, 
and check again if that temperature is close to the threshold temperature meaning the temperature that the radiator fan kicks in allow the engine to start the radiator fan to cool the engine down again if your motorcycle needs the switch to be on the on position for the radiator fan to kick in if it starts automatically you're fine thanks for watching and as always ride safe